This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Now we will talk about learning objective 1.2, which is introduction to vulnerabilities, threats and attacks. Uh, network vulnerabilities come from three different components, technological conf weaknesses, configuration weaknesses and policies. What is technological weakness? Technological weakness means there is a weakness in a technology. Technology could be a protocol, could be an operating system and could be an equipment. What is a weakness in a protocol? We allow certain protocols to pass through our uh, network equipment to have access to information, but these protocols are prone to attack because they do not have any security features bundled with them. A very simple example is an HTTP protocol, which is a hypertext transfer protocol used for web browsing. It's an unsecure protocol. I can use the protocol to browse. At the same time, I can use the protocol to uh, merge with the virus or a worm and throw uh, to an organization to attack it. Uh, FTP protocol, which is a file transfer protocol, is another weak protocol. Does not need any authentication or authorization. I can download, upload information while my information also uh, con is containing a virus or a worm. Uh, very simple uh, SMTP protocol, which is a mail transfer protocol. It has clear text username and password. So if somebody logs in and tries to download an email or send an email to uh, other party, the, uh, the information which is user, username and password is thrown on the cable as a clear text. Anybody in looking to the information can find out the passwords. Operating system weaknesses. The operating system is always weak. They keep on patching day by day. Uh, operating systems, they, they are weak by nature because they have information communicating with other operating systems or to provide information within the organization. They open lots and lots of technical or um, uh, TCP ports which allow attackers to attack the operating system and bring them down. Network equipment are actually a firewalls, routers. They are left as uh, default settings or there is a weakness in the box itself. Box looks like that it is protecting the network, but it does not because of the lack of authentication, lack of configuration, routing protocols, and firewall hosts. Configuration weaknesses comes from unsecured user accounts. Okay, so information is transmitted insecurely. Okay, username and passwords are known to people. We don't use any encryption or cryptographic methodology. System accounts are very easily guessed. People use account names as of their family names or fathers or mothers or sisters name and then easily guessed. Misconfigured internet services. We run so many services on the operating system like JavaScripts, uh, Internet Information Server and uh, FTP and IIS. All of these are prone to attack because we do not really secure them. We run the service even if we don't need them. Unsecure default settings. We leave the product on default settings. We don't change the passwords. So if I know that there is a box called Cisco and I know that Cisco default passwords are always Cisco. So I can easily attack without really uh, 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 doing any efforts. Misconfigured network equipment. I feel that I have configured the uh, uh, network equipment, but it is not. I have put a wrong access list. So I have allowed people to access my network and I'm not aware of it. I have used wrong routing protocols. So people who do not even need to know about my routes and my networks, they know about me. I have a wrong uh, management protocol. Whenever I try to manage my equipment from remote site, people know about my username and passwords. Policy weakness, lack of written security policy. Many organizations do not write security policies. They don't even have policies. They don't even know about the policies. So there is no written security policy which organization is supposed to follow. If there is an attack, either it is external attack or internal attack, the organization do not know what to do with those attackers because there is no consistent policy available. Uh, politics, okay, which is always <laughs> in every organization, uh, sometimes politics is actually political battle of politics do come in and make system weak because a manager or a boss could say, I need access to certain information, whereas he's not allowed to access that information. So deliberately, he asked network administrators or server administrator to give him access and they give him access because he is the boss of the company and then he go and share the information without his knowledge. Lack of continuity. We replacement of personals. You fire people or person, people leave organization. Their accounts are not disabled. Their accounts are uh, still active. P 
people can use their username and password or he or she can use username and password when even if he is not out of, uh, he's not in the organization can access information and make it publicly available logical access control poorly chosen easily cracked password people don't have uh, strong passwords can be guessed easily by attackers and then uh, information is compromised logical access control not applied inadequate mon monitoring auditing there is no auditing if somebody attacks the info or attacks the network or servers people really cannot find out who attacked my information and they cannot even find out that it's internal attack or an external attack so uh, auditing is not enabled and this is a logical weakness software and hardware installation and changes do not follow policy i change my equipment i change my configuration i change my installation i change my application but i do not log it i do not have any control over it anybody can go and change an, an application and then at the end of day that application is vulnerable disaster recovery plan is non existent there is no disaster recovery plan i lose my data center i don't have anything else to cover up so whole information is gone i do not keep backups okay and i don't have redundant equipment if one fails i can replace it with the backup equipment uh, threats capabilities uh, more dangerous and easier to use as we, the trends uh, internet is opening and with sophisticated tools available already freely downloadable from internet the threats are increasing uh, day by day and the technical knowledge is decreasing day by day because as we know technical knowledge depends on technology the moment we learn one technology the second the other technology comes up and by the time you learn that technology uh, new attack methods are already developed and new technology is already available so there is no real um, parallel process where technology and uh, attack grows together attacks are growing more faster than the technology but at the same time knowledge is not growing because of uh, uh, technology increasing it at a very high pace uh, this is the end of learning objective 1.2